Under percents, the little subheading, boys and girls and kids of all ages, is the little subheading is finding percents of a number. Okay. And here is the key. And write this in ginormous numbers. When you are finding, you know, when do we use percents when it comes to numbers? Uh, when you go to a restaurant and you buy your luxurious $15 hamburger at the Crusade place down there, okay, when you do that, because people come and serve you, you're supposed to give them what's called a tip. And a tip is a supposed to be a percentage of no bill. your total bill. And what that means is when you see that word of... Get in your minds that of means you multiply. People don't seem to connect with that. Another example is your parents. When they get their weekly, monthly, whatever paycheck from their employer, they have to pay a percentage of their salary in taxes usually, unless there's some way they have around it, okay? That means they have to multiply, it's always multiplying, by the percentage. Now here's the second thing you need to know. Percents can either be changed, or you have to, you have to change them either into a decimal or a percent. And it's really, I'm sorry, decimal or percent, blah, blah, blah. Decimal or a fraction. Sometimes it's easier to do one or the other. And it doesn't, sometimes it's impossible to do one of the other. Uh, and I don't know if we'll get to those today, but here is our four examples. Let's just make sure we know. If I have 15%, 15% as a decimal is what? Remembering that percent means out of 100, 15% means 15 out of 100 or 15 hundredths. And as a decimal, you would write 15 hundredths. Carter would as? Yeah, is the same as 0.15. If I were changing 15% to a fraction, what does 15% mean? Out of 100. So it is 15 hundredths, which reduces down. You can divide them both by 5 and end up with 3 over 20. Okay. So if you were finding 15% of something, for example, if this was the problem, find 15 percent of 30. Okay. 15 percent of 30. Unless they tell you what to change the percent into, it is your choice. But the first thing you know is that the word of means you're going to multiply. So you are going to multiply whichever way you change to choose percent into a decimal fraction by 30. We'll do it both ways just so you can see. Well, let's do a decimal first. If I make this 0.15, if I take 0.15 and multiply it by 30, I get what? 0, 15, 1, boom, 450. If you bought a meal for $30 and they asked you for a 15% tip, you'd have to give the waitress $4.50. If you change 15% to a fraction, it would look like this. Well, you'd write 3 over 20 times, what number? 30. How do I multiply fractions? I multiply across the tops. 20, 3 times 30 is 90. 20 times 1 is 20. There's my fraction. I need to change it into a mixed number. Is that easy or hard to do? Well, 
You can reduce it to by what? Divide both by 10, you end up with 9 over 2. How many times does 2 go into 9? 4. 4 and 1 half times, which is 4 and a half dollars. In this case, which of the two ways would I probably pick to do that? Well, decimals probably for me on this one would have worked. For me, anyway. <coughs> but maybe the percent is 75%. Two ways to make 75%. What is 75 as a decimal? Tyler? 0.75. What is it as a fraction? You should know 75%. Brant? Did you say three-fourths? Three yeah. Right. Okay, those are your two choices there. If I asked you to find 75% of 20, First thing you understand is that the word of is times. You know, if I make this a decimal, I have to multiply 0.75 times 20. Switch off to the side here. 0.75 times 20. 0, 10, 1, 14, boom. 15. Or I can might take 3 fourths times 20. We cross cancel the number. Probably not. Which gives you 60 over 4, and 4 goes into 60 15 times. So 3 fourths times 20, 4.75 times 20, you'll still get the same answer. And it's up to you which one to use. Take a look at page 219, then. Thank you.